Now when working problems, another question comes up. Where do you round your answers? Your calculator will often give you many more digits than you actually need. And the rules are determined by how many significant figures your answer should have. So the first thing we're going to look at is what does it mean for an answer, a number, to be significant? Significant means that it's a meaningful number. So the first rule is any number that's not a zero always is significant. So for example, the number 8.43, all three of those digits are non-zero, so that answer has three sig figs. Zeros sometimes have meaning, sometimes they don't. Zeros in between two non-zeros always have significance, they always have meaning. So by rule number one, in the number 1,809, we know the 1, the 8, and the 9 always have meaning. This 0 is in between the 8 and the 9, therefore it is significant, and there are 4 sig figs in that number. When the zeros are on the left-hand side of the number, those are called leading zeros, and leading zeros are not significant. So for example, in this number, only the 8 is significant, the zeros are important, they're placeholders that tell you how large or how small the number is, but they're not significant digits. The opposite is zeros at the right-hand side of a number. If they're on the right-hand side, they're called trailing zeros. And trailing zeros are significant if the number has a decimal point. So here are three trailing zeros. It doesn't matter if the zeros come before or after the decimal point, all of these zeros are significant because of that decimal point. We know the four is significant, and all three of those zeros are also significant. So there are four sig figs in that number. When there's no decimal point trailing zeros, technically they're ambiguous, but ambiguous is going to mean that they're not significant. So for example, the number 5,000 versus the number 5,000 with a decimal point. In math terms, these are equivalent numbers, but in science, the first 5,000 without the decimal point only has one sig fig, where 5,000 with a decimal point has four sig figs. So instead of writing normal notation, a better way to write these two would be in scientific notation. 5,000 without a decimal point would be written as 5 times 10 to the positive 3. 5,000 with a decimal point would be written 5.000 times 10 to the positive 3. This shows clearly 1 sig fig, 5 times 10 to the third, Notice we don't count any sig figs in the 10 or the exponent. 5.000, we maintain four sig figs, same number of sig figs that we had in the original number.